The Bible says in Romans chapter 15, verse number 13, now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Something I noticed in this verse of scripture is that joy and optimism, they go hand in hand. A joyful individual, one that is full of joy, will be an optimistic individual. You know, I've, I'm a casual baseball fan. I'm not into it as much as I used to be, simply because I just don't have the time with the ministry and all to be into it as much as I probably otherwise would. But you ever noticed in the baseball game how excited people get when that baseball player hits that home run? If, especially if it's in the first innings, uh, the game's just getting started, and then, bam, the guy hits that home run, and man, the crowd goes wild. You know why the crowd goes wild? They're optimistic. Their team player, their favorite athlete, the guy they're rooting for and cheering for, when he hits that home run, they're excited because that good thing fills them with optimism that they will win the game if they can keep that up. Now, the game's not over with. They may still have five, six, seven more innings to go, but the guy hits the home run, and even though the game's not over with, but they're joyful, they're excited, and a and a result of that is they're filled with optimism that we're on we're we're on track to win. That's optimistic. Now let's change the scenario. What if your team is down? You're losing fifteen to one. Your team has won. The opponents have fifteen points, and your team member, the guy, the team that you're rooting for, the guy hits a home run. Well, that brings it to 15 to 2. You know what? The crowd's probably not going to go wild. You know why? Because even though the guy hit a home run, but you're still down 13 points at the score. That just brings the score. If there's no one on bases, that brings the score two to, to their 15. So the crowd's probably not going to go too nuts for that. You see what I'm saying? And so there's a there's going to be a lack of joy in that home run in that circumstance and there's not going to be a whole lot of optimism that you're going to be able to win the game because that one home run is not going to be enough. I'm just saying that the fruit of the spirit is joy and when we're walking in the spirit God fills our hearts with joy and so when you are walking in the spirit and therefore, you allow God to fill you with joy and love and hope, as the verse mentions, you will become a more optimistic person. One thing I know about faith, real faith, is optimistic. Let's learn to become more optimistic Christians. Listen, God is just as powerful today as he ever has been. He is still able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. So don't lose faith in him. Be optimistic. Let's be full of the joy of the Lord so that we can become more optimistic in our faith. God bless you.